Welcome back to the Fall of Epsilon Pegasi campaign for Free Space 2 on Paladin Gaming. We're going into the seventh mission. Exodus. Contact has been re-established with the Disciple. Apparently, our flagship is hiding out on the fringes of Epsilon Pegasi. Rallying the troops in preparation for a counter-strike against Kaoths and TF. Coordinates have been logged and very soon our little armada will rejoin the rest of 6th Fleet around Pegasus Sextus. Following the incident at the Jackson Station, and attacks on the 4th... I've discussed the details of the evacuation with the other senior officers present and we've come up with a plan of action that should get everyone present, civilian and GTV alike, to safety at the Disciples' encampment. The Jackson has been abandoned. We've transferred as many civilians and as much cargo to as few ships as we can. The Providence herself is severely cramped right now. But with fewer ships to manage, it should expedite the evacuation of this station greatly. Alright. The evacuating ships will proceed to a warp out point at a safe distance from the Jackson, where they will depart. Vessels that required immediate attention, specifically the Yolland Medical Frigate, which carried multiple injured personnel, but also a number of transports that had taken severe damage in firefights with the NTF, have already begun moving, but the other ships will have to wait. Hopefully, they won't be so impatient as to attempt to muscle in and throw the entire operation into chaos. Your task will be to fly patrol around the station and oversee the evacuation. Should the NTF suddenly appear, it will be up to you to defend the transports from the enemy. Remember, they will have absolutely no qualms about attacking civilian craft. Ensure that you do not hesitate in turn. Why do we need to get go to a safe distance to warp out? Like, there's no inherent danger to warping out near to things. We see ships do it all the time. Alright, so ship selection. We are flying Myrmidons. Again. And we don't really have choices for loadout. I guess we can go over double Subox over Prometheus R. Rate of fire 5 per second, DPS 68 hull. So yeah, the Subak is just generally better all around, so we will just go with double Subaks. The Prometheus R really has no reason to exist as a weapon. Like, it is worse than the starting loadout in every way. I would go for double lengths of tornadoes, but there aren't more tornadoes to be had, so let's come in. The last of the injured are jumping out right now, Alpha. Soon we will begin evacuating the other ships, so stay sharp and let's keep this under control. Alrighty. Damn what are you it, shooting Jeff. at? Attacking innocent people. That's the thing I don't get, though. I mean, these people were GTVA once, weren't they? Part of Sixth Fleet, part of the fleets sent to fight Bosch and friends. Did nobody, like, notice their genocidal tendencies at all in the psych reports and things? Well, that That's matter. a great question. Why do they suddenly start going around killing civvies? What turns freedom-loving, innocent-protecting soldiers for the Alliance into murdering thugs for Bosch's little rebel army? Brainwashing? Mass psychosis? What? <laughs> I guess they were always like that. Violent, angry on the inside. And it was only when they joined up with Boss and entered a situation where that sort of thing was permitted that they started to reach down and pull the darkness up. War is hell. The thing is, Prickles, if they were always like that, how come no one noticed? You were in Sixth Fleet before. How come you never realized that half of your friends were regular little psychos with a grudge against the sorts? Damn it, we've been over this a hundred times. I don't know, alright? I do not know. Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? We don't know. But what about Bosch? 
He was... He had it all, actually. Yeah, he was an admiral, a legion of men under his command, a nice little commission from GTVA High Command. Why did he pack it all in for three systems and a galaxy full of hatred? For the last time, I don't know. How should I know, anyway? We're not the same person. I don't know how those other people think. We're not the same. Aw, oh, come on, Prickles. Do not give me that. Your grunge routine worked for the first day or so, but it's getting kind of boring now. I'm... Look, this isn't very fun for me, you understand? Bad enough boss defected without everyone judging, criticizing me for other people's actions. None of us really knew Bosch, even though he was the Admiral. He was really a scientist at heart, I reckon. Happier theorizing than commanding battles and things. It was the Vice Admiral that did most of the work. Bosch just got the glory. Vice Admiral? You mean Wilson? No, no. His name was Stockwell. Not very popular, really. Well, not with most people. Heads up, Alpha. We're getting the rest of the civis moving now. Excellent. About time. The NCF will probably be here any minute. Because if they weren't, there wouldn't be a mission. <laughs> it's the reviewed. They found it. Right on cue. I advise you to power down your vessel immediately. Failed to comply and somebody's got to get her. Yeah, you, jackass. No. Clark ain't a bad guy. He ain't vindictive or anything. In fact, he's gonna give you the offer of a lifetime. Little boy, he's winning this Why are they shooting at him? Epsilon Pegasus is almost entirely good on grass. Wilson and his legs are done for. He's truly overbound. The radical defeated will be forced to negotiate with the new appearance fund. Clark wants to offer you a wall and amnesty. He recognizes that this isn't your fight, and since you're all human, like us, well, he recognizes you have a second chance. Leave the sailing alive! Join Bob and join Bob to create the glorious new vision of the human race on the idyllic new paradise of Neo Terra. Join us! Join us now! Wait, He's really? Right. Pop has completely over an epsilon pegasus. You're falling for that kind of stupid pitch? They were all defecting to the NTM. Alpha, the loyalists and civilians are trying to get clear. You'll have to cover them from the traitors. Yep, we got new jump signatures. I don't want to kill the refugees, so let's get on these guys.
heard of you. We've got to get out of here. Alpha, I'm sending you the coordinates to the disciple. Jump out now. <sighs> if I try to jump out in the middle of a dogfight, I'll get shredded. Alpha, cover me, please, and we will uh, fight our way out of this mess. Yeah, there's definitely multiple waves. So if I try to jump out at any point, I will die. Oh shit, there's a Dymos here. Get out of here now. <sighs> Thank God. All right. Welcome back to the Disciple, Pilot. You were cut off from the rest of the fleet, surrounded on all sides by the NTF and even suffered a rebellion amongst your own ranks too, but ultimately you won through. Captain Peters has also informed me that you were the pilot who originally re-established contact with us in the first place. That's some good work you did the kid. Admiral Wilson will brief the refugees from the Jackson, that is, you and your wing, tomorrow morning. Until then, put your feet up. You deserve it. 
All right, so uh, confession: I failed that like 25 times on hard because that kind of fighter swarm is impossible to deal with. So I did have to turn the difficulty down just to get it over with because I was sick and tired of it. Uh, so 27 kills on easy, so we got to put a big asterisk on that. Um, yeah. So I'm not proud of having done that, but uh, it had to be done just to keep the story moving. So. Uh, I will turn the difficulty back up too hard for the next mission. Uh, so this is Paladin Gaming signing off.